This week on Historical Wife Swap, these Egyptian peasants will be doing a wife swap with Pharaoh Ramesses II and his wife Nefertari. So how will these different ancient Egyptian couples get on? Oh, uh, who are you? Mrs. Pharaoh? Shouldn't you be at my house? Mrs. Pharaoh is at your house. I'm Mrs. Pharaoh number two. Ramesses II's got six wives. A bit greedy. And 200 girlfriends. I am the great pharaoh, born of Ra, chosen of Ra, for powerful is the truth of Ra. Half king, half god, master of all I survey, Ramesses II, glory be to my name. And you are... Susan. An honour for you to meet me. So what will Nefertari, the pharaoh's number one wife, make of Mr. Peasant? Oh, your uh, majesty. Get up, peasant. But don't look at me. Oh, what's that terrible smell? Could be me, Your Majesty. Oh. I've been dragging two Tom boulders round the desert to help build your husband's temple. No, you do stink, peasant, but it's much worse than that. Oh, could be the gazelle dong I've put on the floor. Oh, what on earth would you do that? Keeps the rats away from oh, food. Rats! Or it could be the walls. They're made of manure. And the Nile flooded the hut last month, so they're still a bit house put it. Sweaty. I can tell I'm going to just love it here. Great. Meanwhile, over at the palace, it's dinner time. Here, peasant, try one of these. What is it, my pharaoh? Locust and honey. That's delicious. Ooh, I think I'm going to grab an early night. I have to be up before the sun comes up. Well, obviously I do. I'm the one who gets the sun up. I've done a joke. <laughs> That's more like it. You won't believe this. The royal palace has got beds with comfy pillows made of stone and a sort of seat thing that you sit on to go to the toilet. What will they think of next? And it's also dinner time in the peasant hut. Oh! Sorry, Your Majesty. We do get a lot of mosquitoes. That's the downside of living near the Nile. The plus side is that the Nile floods, so the soil here is very fertile. And when it does flood, we farmers get a few months off to go to the desert and drag around two ton boulders for Pharaoh. Ow! Well, at least it gets you away from all these mosquitoes. And, and nearer the deadly scorpions. <laughs> Do you not want your onion? Don't look at Sorry. me! You are not going to believe where I had to sleep. On some straw, on the floor. Yeah, that's right. On the floor, with all the gazelle poop. I swear I've got nits. Oh, oh. Oh, look, look, there's one. I'll have to throw this wig away. The wife swap is at an end, and it's time for the royal couple and the peasant couple to discuss their experiences. I understand you've been helping build my temple, the Ramesseum. What an honour for you. How looks the 19-metre statue of me? Oh, it is magnificent, Pharaoh. Although not as impressive as the real thing. Ah, your work is done, but I have some good news for you. I would like you to build another massive temple alongside for my favourite wife. <laughs> oh, Rami, baby, that's so Oh, sweet. <laughs> oh, you want one too, do you? <sighs> Don't book any holidays. We did actually discuss this, Rami. Did we? I yes, don't remember. We well, you had a lot of palm wine to drink. Well, you don't speak up. Do you, you think we can get up now, love? I wouldn't risk it. No. Queen Nefertari suffered from alopecia, so she wore a wig. Expensive Egyptian wigs were made of 120,000 human hairs held in place by beeswax. <laughs> Is that a wig, Your Majesty? Oh, mind your own beeswax. <laughs> Glory, darkly, mean and cruel Stuff they don't teach you